What comes to your mind when you hear the word narcos? It's definitely Pablo Escobar and the story that he burned $2 million cash just to keep his daughter warm. Pablo has been notorious amongst all, but he ranks second on the list of richest smugglers. Welcome back to Lushplex, and today we're going to talk about the richest smuggler of all time, Amado Carrillo Fuentes. Amado Carrillo Fuentes, also known as El Señor de los Cielos, the Lord of the Skies, for his sophisticated air smuggling network using a fleet of private jets, was one of Mexico's most powerful drug lords at the height of his career, having amassed a fortune of over $25 billion, rivaling Colombian drug lord Pablo Escobar. Amado was born in Sinaloa in 1956. He was the nephew of Ernesto Fonseca Carrillo, a.k.a. Don Neto, one of the founders of the powerful Guadalajara cartel. His career started after he purchased his first plane just after acquiring a pilot license. He had a fleet of private planes, including 22 727 jet airliners. Initially, he was a part of the Guadalajara cartel and was sent to Ojinaga to work under veteran smuggler Pablo Acosta and gained control of the Juarez Plaza after Acosta's death in 1988. In 1989, he pulled the Juarez Plaza out of the Guadalajara cartel and formed the Juarez cartel with Rafael Aguilar Guajardo. Amado later seized power after murdering Aguilar in 1992 and quietly built his drug empire while the authorities were distracted by the conflict between the Sinaloa and Tijuana cartels. Now you know the kind of man we are talking about today. He would stop at nothing to amass his fortune and smuggle drugs. After getting the Cali cartel to pay him in cocaine, he became Mexico's most powerful drug lord in 1994. He built a $20 million mansion called the Palace of a Thousand and One Nights, inspired by the construction like those in the Middle East. His guns were dipped in real gold and diamonds with his initials ACF. What else would he do with so much cash? He spent $5 million a year alone to bribe the police, political leaders, DEA officers, and army generals. He developed such an outstanding process for his organization that he bought himself a bank to launder all his money. Not a surprise that he wasn't in the spotlight for years. On one occasion, he even threatened the president of Mexico that he would leave the country, thereby destroying the entire economy. In 1997, his dealings with Carlos Hank Gonzalez and General Jesus Gutierrez Rebollo surfaced, and he became Mexico's most wanted drug trafficker overnight. Unable to flee the country, he relinquished power to his brother Vicente, underwent plastic surgery on his face to change his appearance, and died, as per the Mexican government. But some believe he staged his death and escaped to Chile, placing someone else in his position. Let us know if you liked this informative video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.